Well, can I um, say that this is probably one of the most moving, um, heartfelt uh, forums that I've attended uh, as a member of Parliament um, since I came into the Parliament in 2005. Um, you're quite numb, actually. Numb is probably the word that uh, I feel um, just sitting there and, uh, and listening. Um, and uh, I wonder why we even got this bill in the Parliament in the first instance, because uh, Gaia in particular and, um, and the Brave of Sharon um, and all the speakers, but um, this is the reality <laughs> of, of things. Uh, this, this isn't uh, confected. This isn't, isn't a show piece that's being put on. Uh, this is the reality uh, faced by, by thousands, tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of women um, in, in this state and elsewhere in Australia. And I've never quite understood how there is this disconnect. It's almost like a universe between this reality of the experience of women um, and the, could I call it, the, the political elite or the, the elite in society who have, many of which are very formed ideological view about the matter of, of abortion and, and see it as a very, shall we say, zero-sum game. Um, uh, 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 baby wins, uh, women lose, um, or the other way around, and it's just a zero-sum game. Um, and I've, I've never understood that. I mean, I might say I've never understood that before I went to Parliament and uh, had quite a different role. I, I've not been a politician for a particular long period of time, but I always puzzled over <coughs> this sort of strange way in which this matter was being played out in our society, and might I say in other countries overseas, it's, just, it's not obviously just in Australia. Um, but all I can, can do is, is just, uh, in a heartfelt way, thank abortion research from the bottom of my heart. Um, Kathy, um, and I won't try and name everyone, all our esteemed speakers, um, for coming along today. And it is quite appropriate to make that declaration that this is the, the start um, because um, we've got the Marine Fariki Bill to deal with and, um, can I say, knock over. Um, and that's what we talk about in the Parliament, to knock it over. Um, it won't get onto the statute books. Um, now, let me say, um, that's a bold statement because we haven't even dealt with it yet alone voted on it, but uh, I, can, I can say to you that there's wonderful work being done by a whole range of politicians, some of which in the room, the Honourable Fred Nile in particular, David Clark, Paul Green, and I could go on and on and on, um, who are playing, uh, let me say, an instrumental role in making sure this never gets onto the statute books. But, but in a sense, it's just the battle before us now. Um, just by the way, I, I received a text about 10 minutes before I came in uh, today. I'm oh, sorry, Matthew, Matthew Cox, of course, I was going to be in his parliament too. Didn't see you there, Matt. Um, uh, being told just by a, a text before I came in that uh, uh, as soon as the Marine, Marine Faruqi Bill is dealt with and out of the way, which is probably next week, that the bill by the Honourable Penny Sharp uh, will then sort of come forward. And, and Penny was good enough to, to let us all know that that was her intention. So, <laughs> so it doesn't end <laughs> uh, with, uh, with this bill. But, but you know, I, I think this, this idea of putting one's standard in the ground and say we're here to really challenge the orthodoxy, uh, the ideology, the sort of fixed notions which hitherto have been in place um, is very, very important. So uh, perhaps I'll, I'll conclude on that note but by, by once again thanking Cathy and the whole uh, team, if we use that phrase, from Abortion Research. Um, can I say to you, you do have the ear of a number of politicians in this parliament um, and and might I say, in other parliaments around Australia. And while there has been up to this point a degree of stupidity uh, and reluctance to sort of speak out on this, um, in some sense that's just got to come to an end. And uh, it's through the work of, of Abortion Rethink and, uh, and might I say, the women, Jaya and all others that have been involved, the other uh, 
speaker who spoke about her, her very personal experience, uh, which is going to force people to rethink and ultimately change what are some very, very unjust laws. Thank you very much.